sings the book of fate canto 2 the way of fate and the problem of pain page 441 his grandeur he turns to an epic of doom and fall his littleness crawls content through squalor and mud he calls heaven's retribution on his head and wallows in his self-made misery a part author of the cosmic tragedy his will conspires with death and time and fate his brief appearance on the enigma earth ever recurs but brings no high result to this wanderer through the aeon rings of god that shuts his life in their vast longevity his soul's wide search and ever returning hopes pursue the useless orbit of their course in a vain repetition of lost toils across a track of soon forgotten lives all is an episode in a meaningless tale why is it all and wherefore are we here if to some being of eternal bliss it is our spirit's destiny to return or some still impersonal height of endless calm since that we are and out of that we came whence rose the strange and sterile interlude lasting in vain through interminable time who willed to form or feign a universe in the cold and endless emptiness of space or if these beings must be and their brief lives what need had the soul of ignorance and tears whence rose the call for sorrow and for pain or all came helplessly without a cause what power forced the immortal spirit to birth the eternal witness once of eternity a deathless sojourner mid transient scenes he camps in life's half-lit obscurity amid the debris of his thoughts and dreams or who persuaded it to fall from bliss and forfeit its immortal privilege who laid on it the ceaseless will to live a wanderer in this beautiful sorrowful world and bear its load of joy and grief and love or if no being watches the works of time what hard impersonal necessity compels the vain toil of brief living things a great illusion then has built the stars but where then is the soul's security its poise in the circling of unreal suns or else it is a wanderer from its home who strayed into a blind alley of time and chance and finds no issue from a meaningless world or where begins and ends illusions reign perhaps the soul we feel is only a dream eternal self a fiction sensed in trance then after a silence narad made reply tuning his lips to earthly sound he spoke and something now of the deep sense of fate waited the fragile hints of mortal speech his forehead shone with vision solemnized 
turn to a tablet of supernal thoughts as if characters of an unwritten tongue had left in its breath the inscription of the gods bare in that light time toiled his unseen works detected the broad flung far-seeing schemes unfinished which his aeon flight unrolls were mapped already in that world-wide look was then the sun a dream because there is night hidden in the mortal's heart the eternal lives he lives secretly in the chamber of thy soul a light shines there nor pain nor grief can cross a darkness stands between thyself and him thou canst not hear or feel the marvelous gas thou canst not see the beatific sun o queen thy thought is a light of the ignorance its brilliant curtain hides from thee god's face it illumes a world born from the inconscience but hides the immortal's meaning in the world thy mind's light hides from thee the eternal star thy heart's hopes hide from thee the eternal swell earth's joys shut from thee the immortal's bliss then rose the need of a dark intruding god the world's dread teacher the creator pain where ignorance is their suffering too must come thy grief is a cry of darkness to the light pain was the first born of the inconscience which was thy body's dumb original base already slept there pain subconscious shape a shadow in a shadowy tenebrous womb till life shall move it waits to wake and be in one call with joy came forth the dreadful power in life's breast it was born hiding its twin but pain came first then only joy could be pain plowed the first hard ground of the world drowns by pain a spirit started from the clod by pain life stood in the subliminal deep in turn submerged hidden in matter's trance awoke to itself the dreamer sleeping mind it made a visible realm out of its dreams it drew its shapes from the subconscious depths then turned to look upon the world it had made by pain and joy the bright and tenebrous twins the inanimate world perceived its sentient soul else had the inconscient never suffered change pain is the hammer of the gods to break a dead resistance in the mortal's heart his slow inertia as of living stone if the heart were not forced to want and weep his soul would have lain down content at ease and never thought to exceed the human star and never learned to climb towards the sun this earth is full of labor packed with pain throes of an endless birth coils first still the centuries end the ages vainly pass and yet the godhead in her is not born